So I'm walking past the landmark. One of my voices, or the many voices, said, go in there and, and hide the metal. So I go in the door and um, I look to my left. I see a, about four, four to six Syracuse police officers. They just wave at me. I go up the right staircase to the uh, bathroom and I go to the last stall. Now I go in the stall and I'm just looking around the stall thinking like, where can I, can I hide this behind the, the, the toilet or whatever. Now it's a painting that's right above the toilet in the bathroom. Some, the voice is telling me like, check, open the picture, look behind the picture. Mm -hmm. When I moved the picture, it was a, it was like a tunnel. Oh. Yeah, it was oh, like, like an open, yeah, a hole. You got in the, the hole. The voice told me to go in there and put it in there. Okay. So I went in. Okay. You know, so I just started um, going deeper in there. Now I come to like a, I want to say it was like a pillar, inside of a pillar. Uh -huh. And it was a drop down. Uh -huh. So I fall in that part. That's where I fell in. You at. fell in. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to scale my way up, uh, pull my way up. Like the top of the uh, chute that I was in or like the mm -hmm. space I was in, I could feel it once I get so high. So you did shimmy up? Yeah. Because you I'm, couldn't, then you'd slide back yeah, down. Yeah, slide back down, straight you, back. Could you see any light? No. I seen, um, yeah, a, a, a faint line, just like a one line, and that was it. But it was real dim, nothing else. Everything was pitch black. I started saying help, and I can't get out, but nobody hears me, obviously, because I'm stuck in this wall. So the next day go by, now I become dehydrated. I had to drink my own urine. After that, I become a, a little hydrated, but now, about day three, I'm running out of urine. Like, I never felt this feeling before in my life. Like How many times did you do that? Oh man, probably like three. I had to do it three times just to... Like you peed in your hand? And yep, I had to. I had to. My, I started getting cramps, you know. I think that's from standing up so long and being hungry. I started getting cramps. I had cramps in my feet, in my like my, my foot, by my toes. They would lock up my uh, muscles in my legs, my arms. Everything started like locking up from being in this space, you know. And um, fall asleep, I scraped my head all over the concrete space in there, and my face, everything. So now everything that scraped is burning. It's burning like when I rub up against anything, if I just touch the wall, I feel burning sensations on my body, but I can't see it. Day four came, and um, I don't know what made this guy open up the, the hole or the, the picture behind the wall, uh, toilet, but I guess he opened it and he said, is anybody in there? And um, I was like, yeah, thank God. I'm about to go get you help right now. It was, I thought he was an angel, to tell you the truth. And um, he went and got help. I begged him not to leave me. He said he promised he'd be right back. He came right back. So now they're banging a, a hole in the wall, I guess, to get me out of there. The bricks start hitting me in the head. Then the guy that discovered me, he um, said, we're gonna give you a blanket. You need a blanket or something to put over? Are you getting hit by the rocks? I'm like, yeah, I'm getting hit, but I don't care. Just get me out of here. Like, I mean, I'm getting hit with half a cinder blocks. Hit me all in the head, everywhere. And um, they bust me out, got me out.